location manager comes up to a set like this with a Polaroid and I get these little black and white Polaroids and I'm supposed to be able to know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> like the house. They didn't give me a reference. They gave me reference, but not from the angle we needed. So I had to manufacture it. Anyway, so this was my suggestion to try and open that scene up on this gravestone, you know, and then pull back. I like it. And then this was possibly what we build on set for when they went underneath underneath the uh, restaurant and started that. You know, I haven't seen the movie in, what? in 30 years. What? I'm, I'm not no, I, one I of those no, fans, I get it. right? I get it. So I get I'm it. not even sure how much of the, I don't remember how much of this even got in the movie. I can tell you. And this was, <laughs> this is where there were supposed to be all kinds of roots in yeah. the way that they'd have to get through, which is another thing an illustrator does is I just start making up stuff. So is this, is it, so this, is that, yeah. the, is that the beach or is that the, like the bathroom scene? Like it's that. skull. Don't they go into a skull? Well, they go point? into a skull after they use the bathroom. Well, that must be it. Except what I was working from was in the script was a, a log they crossed or, or a rope yeah, yeah, bridge no, they, or something. Yeah, they did that. And that was a, not a very good reproduction of the restaurant. That's good. Done. And I did a whole bunch of these. The art yeah, director cool. drove me out of my effing mind <laughs> with different ideas. Yeah. And I said, come on, I've given you six good ones already. What, what do you want? But it was that idea of how is that going to be done where, where she hits the keys of the bones that make the noise, the music, the whatever that opens the door, etc. And I was trying to, these are just possible ideas for bones to make them look like an organ. $700. And this, this one was, at one time it was going to be in water, water like a moat surrounding yeah, yeah. it. And then another time it was going to go down for hundreds and hundreds of feet. And they were going to have to figure how to and get they, across they the bridge. The, they did the hundreds and hundreds of feet one. Right. And I think you heard me. Yeah. yeah. That's position. That was a different position, different angle. This was another one with the bones. And I had all kinds of notes as to how I thought it should be built or should be worked, which they didn't pay any attention to, of course. <laughs> And these are just thumbnails of, of all the same stuff where I, I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I started to get a, a reasonable idea here. And that's how I always work with little ideas first. And, and what was this called? Uh, the room, the compass room. And you can see in some cases these were in a tube in my garage, water hit the bottom of the tube. But yeah. on the other hand, it makes them look like antiques. Yeah. And yeah. They're, they're definitely one of a kind. Yeah. More of the bones. Are you serious? And this is the, the production designer loved these gimmicks where a ball drops here and it hits a clothespin, which drops a a BB which hits a fan, which, you know, and, and it goes on and on and on. More bones. More bones. I don't know why I've got so many of these and, and I'm missing other ones. And some of these, I don't think if you matted and framed the whole thing, it's that great. In some cases, it might be better to cut them. These are original prints from the movie. I was an uh, illustrator doing the sketches of the sets before they build them. That's a little more development of the, of the compass room 
continuing on or showing where they came from to get into it. Yeah, they didn't do that in the movie. This one isn't much. 